Yep, soon to be back out. Just a quick one, I've been sent. Well, what it was, I was thinking about getting a hydration pack out for like my walks and my bike rides. Because I don't like taking that great big backpack every time. If I want to put some water in, like extra water on top of my water bottle, with it being so hot as well. So I thought about, ah, oh, get a little water bladder. And then, out of the blue, this company contacted me and said I can test this for them if I can. So what it is, is a two litre, two litre bladder, comes supplied with that. That is so light, light as a feather that. Right, it comes with this, so it's easy to top up, so you just unscrew it and fill it. Make sure you uh, make sure you're not a clutz like me. Right, so just fill it up. You can obviously use tap water, but I'm um, I'm step skeptical about tap water. Right, I'm not gonna fill it all the way because I'm not gonna I'm not be needing that much. So it's a two litre one. It's about a litre in there now. Right, so give it a give it a good press. That's nice and uh, nice and solid. That was so just nice and light to screw on and off. No bother. No bother at all. That's great. And then what you do is you get this. Click that in there. Solid click. Good. Turn this over. It's all like really lightweight mesh. I mean that's that's almost see-through already. Well, it's see-through in fact. So that's nice and light on you. I tried it out yesterday on my bike and it was it was good. That's why I decided to review it because it was quite good. Not expensive either, you know. I mean the material feels good, look it's splash proof. It's got a pocket there for anything you want really. It's got a zip pocket there, which is quite big. You put that on that side, whatever you want on that side. Gloves or I mean you could even, you could even get a um, a rolled up raincoat in there. Maybe. Lips feel alright. Mm-hmm, nice, smooth. I mean, it's new, so time's gonna tell. But the quality's not bad, like... I know they're not that expensive, but there are some out there, and they're all really expensive. And this one's like... I'm not sure of the price. Let's see, see, about 15 quid. So just open the back there. Put it in. There's little straps here. Velcro it in. Make sure it doesn't slip around. Doing this, I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time. Anyway, just passing it up there. Oh no, you don't pass it up there. You pass it through here first. There's a little. opening there which comes out or could, yeah that's the preferred side for me that. there's one on the other side as well so if you like it coming out the other side one on either side there and then what you would do is feed it through here Feed it through there now, then there's a drawback, right? Because yesterday I found out when you've got this fastened, when you fasten that and you tighten it, right? You can tuck that in, but it would be better, I think, if there was like a magnetized catch on there. Like, so you've got a magnet on there, and then I'm on the there so it sticks on, so that does flop around a bit. What I did was put it through this elastic loop here. And it sort of like tamed it a bit and then I just folded it in. So it worked, but yeah, I think a magnetic catch there would be better. But is that gonna push the price up? Probably. 
so there you go. That there is ready to go on your back. So we'll come back when I'm ready with it on my back. But it's not bad. It's light, lightweight, man. Much better than carrying a big backpack if you're going cycling or running or even hiking. I think it's designed for cycling, aren't it? Right, we'll see what it brings. Right, so what I'll do is I'll show you how to put it on. So I've loaded it up with the, the water inside, like about a litre and a half or something, whatever. And there's a few things in the pockets. So, nice and light the straps. I've fed it through the, uh, not elastic bit there, which sort of tidies us up another bit. This is the the top strap here. This one here. Easy to adjust like just like normal straps on your backpack. Tighten it up. You've got that. You just go in. Oh I found that I've been putting it in like that. That's alright. And then you've got the side straps here. You tighten that there, tighten that. And that's it. It's on. And you're on your bike like that. So this is you take the lid off. You can lift that off. And then you push that up. And then... So here I am. I'm on. I'm aware it's not too tight, so you just click it up, comes up, hydrate on the go, piece of cake, click it back in, tuck it in, excellent, easy. It, and then shut it down. It's not shut. Back in. So if you're familiar with these hydration packs, I mean this is all nothing new, is it? But if you're thinking of getting one, these are cheapest chips. I put the link in the description. I don't get commission or anything. I just said I would uh, do a quick review for them. So that's it. Cheapest chips in the tell you what. I looked at one in um, Sports Direct and it was $18.99 and it wasn't anywhere and yet it wasn't as good as this one. This this feels a lot better. It feels like this. The one in Sports Direct had bits of thread hanging out, zips wouldn't they were stiff zips, you know. So we'll only see time will tell how good or how bad this is. But for now Runners, cyclists, hikers, just day walkers. I would recommend it. I'll be using it. Definitely.